Well done, Tristan. Did you get the punch on Tristan? Oh, well, 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 well. Tristan, is that true you got into a fight inside, buddy? Is Tristan going around? It's already being sold. Did Christian Mingle almost make you single? Tristan, you gotta stop fighting, man. You're a daddy now, bro. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You gotta see left hand. What's that word? I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what he's Hey Dub Nation, what's up YouTubers? This is Poor Man's Commiss, your Warriors Credentialed Insider, and I am here at 4.16 a.m. exactly at a Starbucks. It's not even open yet, but I digress. I am here to give you an update on the Draymond Tristan Thompson punching situation. And as you saw in the lead-in, I have the smoking gun. I have information from sources close to Draymond that first tipped me off to something that was very fishy, although I contacted them because I thought something was very fishy to begin with. So let's sort of begin at the beginning. And when I say close sources uh, to Draymond, please note that they want to remain anonymous so I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, so we all know that the big news about Draymond allegedly getting punched, and I will debunk that theory, by the way, that came out a couple days ago after Jason McIntyre of The Big Lead tweeted it, and he interestingly announced that he had been keeping that in for a couple weeks. So, um, but now that I have sort of all the pieces together, I can tell you soon enough in this video what the uh, sequence of events were. But in that tweet, it was rather odd because he said Draymond wanted to go up to Tristan to apologize for the incidents that, uh, that occurred um, in the finals. And, and everyone in Dub Nation knows that Draymond doubled down on that, basically. He went to the parade, went on the air on TV to say that, nah, uh, he's not cut from the same cloth, so I wasn't going to give him a high five. So um, that was the first yellow flag. And then the other thing that really stunk about it was that uh, that's just not Draymond, right? Apologize after, you know, basically, uh, you know, manning you up and beating you. Uh, he's not going to apologize for nothing, especially him being from Saginaw. And then the other thing that was fishy was that... Um, he uh, took a punch. I mean, according to reports, he got two-timed, Chris Childs like to Kobe. First of all, Tristan's like 6'11". You know, he's got a wingspan of seven feet. How are you going to two-time somebody? I mean, it would take you literally a full second to do the first one and then a full other second to swing your massive elbow or whatever two-timing really means. Um, to take another swing with the elbow or the fist and, you know, dude, you're 6'11". Look at how long your arms are. Th no way that's happening. So a lot of people in Draymond's circle that I wasn't even talking to were already saying that that was BS. And if you just put two and two together, you know that that is very unlikely. So guess what? Marcus Thompson smelled a rat, so he did his own research. But he has sources that also said that there was some kind of skirmish and well basically it wasn't the other way around meanwhile i went ahead i'm, I'm sitting here going man this is not fair this is just not fair it's so one-sided today and it's going viral so i go ahead and call up my close sources and they s immediately send me this instagram post which seems to be from Spill the Sugar, but is actually from a sister site, or I don't even know what to call it. Uh, they're related, and it's called, in case you didn't know, another sort of rumor site. 
that I had to dig around and find out because uh, Draymond's sources here, they weren't quite sure where they got that. You know how you screenshot something from Instagram and just you forget where you got it from? So anyways, um, I was able to track that down. So you can still find that post on their site and also on their Instagram page. And if you go to yesterday's post from them, you'll see that they're wondering aloud what the hell happened here. And they have their own theories. Now, I'm sitting here going, what the heck, right? So the, basically, according to this report, this guy was in an elevator with Swaggy P's people, and they were talking about how Draymond actually threw the punch, and Tristan Thompson couldn't do nothing. Well, not throw a punch, but it was a slap, so we know that much so far. Um, now, assuming that this is true then uh, how do we corroborate it? Well, one thing that Draymond's people told me was, look, where is the video? Where is this video of Draymond being punched? And yeah, I've just found that to be very odd. And I started joking around, actually saying, oh, Chloe probably paid him off, Chloe Kardashian, you know, the one who's with Tristan, has a daughter with Tristan. And I did my Google research and did find out that they are on amicable terms as we speak, uh, apparently. So Marcus Thompson drops his article that night, and it still also has the wrong information. Um, and then this morning, Pablo Torre goes on the air and says, look, I also went and checked my sources because he thought it was fishy that Draymond would go around apologizing to Tristan. And he found out that, yeah, there was a skirmish, this and that. But one correction I have for Pablo is that the first party was indeed at Highlight Room. The second party, because I wanted to do research on all the DJs that Draymond knows, like they've been posting re recently on their Instagram saying that this was a BS story. So obviously they heard from Draymond the story and they believe Draymond and there's no reason not to believe Draymond. In fact, if I may go on an aside, if Draymond really did get hit, he would joke about it. And he would joke about that to everybody. He wouldn't just straight up lie. That's just Draymond, you know? So if you know Draymond, you just know how he would act in these situations. So I'm doing research on these DJs and trying to find out if they were at the actual party. And I don't think they were, being that they're from the Bay Area. And well, the second party, Pablo, by the way, uh, is not... LeBron's second party, it was Drake's party. So that led me to go onto the internet to do some research on Drake, the uh, restaurant called Delilah, where they had the party. And I saw photos. I saw photos from the first um, party. I saw videos of um, LeBron, Kevin Durant, and Draymond getting into cars, going to the second party, apparently. And uh, I just, I just kept digging. I kept digging, and, and that's, that's what I think separates Let's Go Warriors, by the way, from all the other aggregators out there, all the other um, guys that need to have a quick reaction for, for a like, for your, you know, for your follow, and then, and then sell t-shirts um, with all your followers. So I just don't really believe in that. I believe that if you have an opportunity to do some journalism, you do that journalism. And that's what I'm doing right here is I'm doing the right thing. It's like this news is so lopsided. There is definitely another side to this coin. Even though I represent Let's Go Warriors, obvious with that kind of bias, but still at the same time, the reason why I'm up at 4.30 right now is because there's truth and justice to this and Draymond deserves it. So... I go and I research and I find out that Jason McIntyre did not break the story. And in fact, he admits that. He says that, okay, the story's finally out. I can finally tell you my side of the story. Well, someone challenged him and said, why didn't you just come out with the story? And he's, he came up with this explanation, which was, oh, I've only been here in LA for two years and I need to protect my sources, yada, yada, yada. Uh, when you start looking at all of the other stuff that's going on and you dig a little deeper, you find out that it was Bossip that came out with the story. And then Jason McIntyre repeated.
repeated that story. Now, if you look at Bossip and you do research on Bossip, you will see that their claim to fame is they had the first exclusive interview with, drumroll, Kim Kardashian after she came out with her sex tape way back in the day. And look, so we have a news organization that has done business with the Kardashians in the past. This is fishy. This is very, very fishy. And, and also, I, I might add that, you know, if you're going to get an exclusive with Kardashian, Kim Kardashian way back in the day, with that big news, there's definitely a business transaction going on, right? She's not giving you that interview for free. All right, so let's move on. So I keep digging, and there is video of people leaving Delilah, celebrities. You can see all these different celebrities, even like, um, you know, Beckham's son, you know, the English soccer player, his son was there. And, and like a, a United Kingdom online site was paparazziing him. Well, guess who they got coming out of the restaurant? Tristan Thompson. And what does the cameraman say? Well, I let you listen to it. I'll let you listen to it again. But he basically says, he jokes. At first, I wasn't sure. And it, it, when I look at video on my phone, I usually don't listen to the sound first. So this, I don't even remember w how I went into this detail to, to just go investigate a little further. But if you turn up the sound, you'll hear him. And at first, um, it, it, I was just going to leave it. I was going to do this as an Instagram post, you know, like the 10 pictures and videos and, and just, just link them all for you in, instead of, you know, writing on my website because there's no revenue in .com. The revenue in .com is equal to the revenue on Instagram, which is zero. The only revenue I really get is from YouTube, so that's why I'm doing this. And because I know this is a big story and I'll still try to write something because everyone else will write it up and, you know, cannibalize my findings. But um, anyways, I want to say that I, I, I first thought that what the cameraman was saying was uh, just the f plain fact that Tristan Thompson had been in the club and he knew there was a fight. So that's what I heard the first like five times listening to it. But then for some reason, I decided to listen up closer. And guess what? The cameraman, he's joking. He's mocking Tristan. He's saying... Hey, Tristan, you get a punch in there? So he's mocking Tristan because Tristan didn't get a punch in there, just like the DM about Swaggy in the elevator said. And so let's move on. But the cameraman also says, you know, you got to take a punch. You're a daddy now. Oh, my God. So, so not only... You know, I was just going to leave it there. I was going to leave it for you guys. I was just going to say, hey, we have evidence that there was indeed a fight and that this cameraman knew about it, so maybe somebody can do more research. But the cameraman did all the dirty work for us. He basically incriminated Tristan because he was mocking him. And then he said, oh, you should have took a punch because you're dead now, you buffoon. You know, basically that's what he said. I don't have anything against Tristan. I could care less. But now that he's in this game... This all shady media game that we're uncovering right here. All right, so basically what I think happened, and the cameraman admits, you can hear him say, uh, the, the video has already been sold. Is Christian going around? It's already being right. sold. Did Christian Mingle almost make you single? Tristan, you gotta stop fighting, man. You're a daddy now, bro. Shut up, man. Shut up, bro. Shut up. You didn't see last time, guy. Oh, what? What's that word? I don't know what he's saying. Now, here's my theory on the whole thing. I think one of two things, uh, because I just transcribed uh, the cameraman's um, audio. I think he's saying there's a video down there instead of out there. 
And um, that leads me to believe, uh, at, at first I thought um, that it was the cameraman that was uh, selling the video to uh, perhaps uh, the Kardashians uh, on that, but um, I don't know. Um, I'm on the fence here. Perhaps there is video of the altercation of Draymond punching Tristan in the club, and maybe that's what the cameraman is saying here, but I'm not sure, so I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. I I don't have an answer right now on that. I have to think about that some more. There's just one more thing I want to say that's uh, still really fishy. But before I say that, I just also want to thank you for bearing with me while I repeated that Tristan video. Uh, basically, I'm running out of uh, video or visuals to show you while I try and explain everything. But anyways, as far as the last fishy thing, that is uh, the, the official Bossip Instagram account posted Tristan Thompson with his two kids like a like a you know hey look isn't Tristan a great guy here and and that's just kind of weird and that was just two days ago so uh, I, I don't know what to make of that but it, it's all just again um, kind of suspicious so I, I think that's it for now I think I've said enough uh, laid it all on the table probably in a very disorganized manner so you know I'll let you guys come to the conclusions of who teamed up with who to to distribute what information at what time okay I think the writing is on the wall for you guys but that's my report sorry for the long 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 voiceover and uh, I still finish under 18 minutes but hey look guys uh, do me a favor like, comment, subscribe, tag your friends on this, tell everybody about Let's Go Warriors because this, this is really my only source of income on this and uh, we don't really get a whole lot. So um, do what you can to help me out here. Um, just hit subscribe, that way next time Steph kicks a ball into a basket, you'll be the first one to know. Not like last time when, when you heard it through Yahoo who heard it, who aggregated it through me. All right, so do me that favor, and um, I appreciate you all.